All right, Willie, get out. Young Thugger. One crazy. Young Thug is eating good and fuck as good as fucking yeah, jail. That boy got big. That nigga is. Hey, that, that nigga is big. is healthy. That that I mean, he got off that narcotic. Hey, Remember, that he, was hey, he was out there bad before. He was out there bad. The motherfucking bologna sandwiches with the extra mayonnaise they be serving that motherfucker boy. <laughs> well, that, nah, he yeah. got good commissary. What the fuck he eating? That nigga. Yeah, I bet his commissary is is nice. They fucking make. I bet that motherfucking commissary. He, he get the good ramen noodles, nigga. <laughs> extra packs. <laughs> Yeah, good y'all cheese ever, and crackers. Nigga. Y'all ever see them TikTok? He ain't, getting the, he ain't getting the processed cheese. He getting that Swiss cut cheese. Do y'all see the? Did you say Swiss cut? That Swiss cut cheese. Oh my god, what happened? What is Swiss cut cheese? Swiss cut cheese, like dog. Swiss cheese? Nah, it's Swiss, but it's Swiss cut. So like, it's like literally like cut in specific. See, like, how do you know you can get this in jail? Huh? How do you know you can get this? I in heard. Jail? That's what I heard. Okay. okay. I don't know shit about jail. <laughs> trying to get me caught up. <laughs> hey, Vlad, fucking T, you trying to get me caught up, dog? What you know about jail? I don't know <laughs> shit about jail, man. You know I was truly looking here. I was looking at him like, wait this a minute. Here trying to get niggas caught up, man. See, see, but no. girl, hey man. Um, young girl, thug, terrible. His lawyer. Uh, originally, I didn't. Tr- what well, is this a new lawyer? It's a new. One. Okay, because that first lawyer. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that uh got caught and helped them get the uh, drugs. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad they got him out the pain. I mean, that, the, the, the thing about this case, bro. This young thug case has been a roller coaster. Everyone meaning discrimination and racism hurts all of us. We teach that to our kids. That was not what Thug meant to Jeffrey. Thug meant and means to Jeffrey something very personal. It was his pact that he could ever make it as a musical artist and help his family, himself, and his many others out of this endless cycle of hopelessness, he would be truly humble under God. That's what Thug means. Been the wildest case. It's been a roller coaster. Like somebody literally on camera. What the fuck you thought was gonna happen? You walk in and drop some drugs to your man and try to walk out the side door. What the fuck is wrong with you? like? I, 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 it's, it's not even to the point now where it's like, look, young thug. I get it. He's the boss. That but shit's I, like an Atlanta I, episode. I think was the one that said that. He's like, it's not. It's not the fact that you a boss. I'm questioning. Who you chose to put in certain spots? Because who the fuck told this man it was okay? That was me. While I'm sitting next to my lawyer in fucking court with cameras gonna, on me. Yeah, you <laughs> with, with guards and shit. You gonna come up, drop some drugs off, and then try to walk out the side door? Security guards like, hey, 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 chill out. Come here, put your hands behind your back. Yeah, like, he's like, he like, no, nah, no, nah, this ain't that. Like, I'm you, like, what you don't thought pass, it was? Go, don't collect two hundred dollars. Yeah, you no, you like, <laughs> who put you niggas in charge? You see what I'm saying? So That's this trash. lawyer, I like this. This. this this Anglo-Saxon white man, I like him. Are we gonna put this? We gonna put yeah, this? Yeah, we gonna put it in. We gonna hey, put it my in. man broke down what thug and all that meant. Yep. Truly, Truly humble. humble under God. <laughs> I said Jeffrey that we wearing dresses with machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> really, Jeffrey? He said he wore a dress so he could And he said, "What did he say? Slime means something else." He's like, "Slime means." He did. Hey, hey, listen. I was in tears. Yeah, I watched that shit like five times. I forgot. I just kept rewinding. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so, a wild case. so if Young he's Thug gone. gets off on this, he's not getting. How that. big would he end up? Like this would be like nah. he's gonna be middle aged Thug, I guess, or yeah. fat. Thug. No, I'm mean, saying if he gets off on this case, like he's not getting. I mean, I don't think getting off. If if they let Thug off, yes, this is a big L for for um mm. the DA down yeah, there. Yeah, because yeah. It's, it's going. Good. Now, this is a question I have for y'all with this in terms of that. Do you think they took some of their energy off that because they're trying to get this Trump case together? It's like, we they put some of the other lawyers over there. It's not as good. Like, because uh, we put the big guns on this. Uh, no, I think I, I, I just finally think Thug got some real, like, uh, a real attorney. Yeah. Because at first, I think he just had some bullshit. <laughs> and then he realized that he had actual money and was like, let me get, let me get a real lawyer. Let me get. Yeah. Or did the label. Oh, or the la- or Somebody was like, we need Whoever to get. Whoever it was, the lawyer. We need to get you some real is, counsel. Is, is, is documented like boy is decorated so he got a good team behind him but he just 
Doug just got to quit letting motherfuckers come into the courtroom giving them drugs and try that to was, walk off. In his defense, that was months ago. That's just, that's and that was the up, that was up under the other lawyer. The other lawyer might have said hey, it was. How, other, you, lawyer. how you? Other lawyer was like, oh yeah, he he can drop it off. <laughs> he he was showing up unprepared, like that was wild. He was wearing big suits and shit, like yeah. and you don't wear a big suit automatically. You know you, you know going to jail. You're no, you going, going to jail. jail. You going to jail? You know, fuck, I'm going, you're going to jail. This nigga can't dress. <laughs> this nigga can't dress. Jail. This my lawyer. Fuck. I'm Look, done. And if I'm ever I'm in a jury done. pool, I'm saying the person guilty. And yeah. if I see somebody with a big suit, automatically guilty. Your right. suits need to be only certain colors. If you my lawyer, you no, no What's color. You I, you can't wear black because it's gonna make me think I'm. I'm no, you can wear gray. You can yeah. do a pinstripe you if you want. A blue. You can blue. do a navy. If you got on a purple suit, going to jail. A red jacket, some bullshit. Going you want stay? You got on Stacey Adams. Going to jail. You don't, you, Damn. You, you can't be my lawyer. Going, no, and you going to jail? You can't be. As soon as you walk in with the Stacey's on, you got to. Go. Hey, Stacey's was we not college, we, boy. No, no, it's not. Look, Stacey Adams. That, nigga, that's, that's, you that's, that's not a court. Man. That's not a courtroom shoe. No. And that's, unless you're the defendant, I guess. <laughs> and even but, then. You but if you're the lawyer, yeah, no. Hey, listen. We are not going to fucking bourbons and cigars. Nigga, this is court. You didn't have a purpose in cigar. No, I'm saying like Stacey Adams is some oh, that's some man. Sunday, you know, straw hat. You know how yeah. old niggas be dressing? Yeah, yeah facts. That's not for court. That's crazy. <laughs> Joe Smith wife is still wilding, man. Hey, listen. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna put the clip in one I, 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 I am still married. Yeah. Yeah. I'm such a fan still, of I'm such a fan of her. I feel like I wanna read her book. Whatever book she come out with, nigga, I'm buying it. I never read Superhead's book. She, I ain't read nobody else's book. I, I said like, X I didn't. Me. I don't. I, well, I did the audio book on Superhead. Did you? Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> did she, did, was yeah. it her talking? It was her talking. Now that I will get. Now I will say this. So, so <laughs> now that I'm on. It's her talking. <laughs> this was back when I was nigga. in Dallas. You know, I, uh, I had got some audio books. It's on Audible. Stop. Audible, yeah. It's on Audible. I'm about to get that uh, shit tomorrow. You know with Audible, you can get like three free books with and one. And she be talking about sucking? Yeah. Things. Now, what I will say, though, when you get your <laughs> book, so, yeah, hey, download it, though. Don't leave it on Audible, because what happens is after that after trial period, they cut that motherfucker off. Oh, no, so, yeah. No, wait, she be like, she, it'd be her. Yeah, she, she her and she and she like she's, she's talking oh, grizzly. Fifteen, now the one I the one I what, she fifteen got year old me would have loved that. Yeah. Confessions of a video vixen is the original. And it was, I think it was the, part was, one and part two. Yeah. So I think I heard part one. I think I heard part one. That's the one where yeah. she like talked about. Diddy she was going, nigga. I didn't know. I didn't know how much in love with Ja Rule she was. Like, mm-hmm. like, and now that I, I didn't know she loved Ja Rule <laughs> until just now. Uh, and, and like the thing, and also what I uh, what I didn't realize is that when you start to put the, you know, people's stories together, not even involved with, involved with Diddy, but just around the. You know the the atmosphere of what's oh going on. Oh my God, Gloria like, Lillet, you st- are they crazy? You start to yeah, you start to think you start to hear about you start to hear you start to think about that. You like damn, like like this. The nineties was really, wild. No, the nineties was wild. Damn, bro, like you really was you really was out here doing this shit, and people was allowed it, so it made me question a lot that, of motherfuckers. That said, we forgot to talk about that. that. The bodyguards and everybody who coming out now. Yeah, man. You niggas was enablers. Y'all Gene was Dill got that. fired before the Cassie shit. What'd you say? Gene Dill got fired no, before no, the Cassie shit. No, no. It's other people yeah. that were well, he's around. Going, that's what he's doing on the internet now. He said that the reason that he left uh, was because he was like, I couldn't sit, stand and sit by my wife because he said, he said he'd stop me every oh, time. Man. Like, he, he'd be like, hey, mind your business. This ain't your job. I'm like, bro, she's sitting on the floor bleeding. That's crazy to me, bro. Yeah, that, that, I, I, and I hate that the fucking love album is so fucking good. Ooh. Ain't that good? But we talk about, it is good, uh, man. Don't be that way, man. We talk about Joe Smith's wife. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They still married though. Yes, absolutely. What's what? And her name is official. What's her name? Keisha, Keisha Chavez. Chavez. Keisha Chavez. Yeah. Wow. She said she been doing porn from eighty nine. Right, yeah, Heather she, Hunter introduced her in eighty nine. Eighty nine to 06. She been yeah. giving. She been giving. But she uh, said she took a period. She said she took like a ten year period off. But listen, that. Nigga, that's, that's, a, that's a long ass time. She gave us, she gave stories. Daryl loaned me a check for this. So I need y'all to start supporting the watching. You know what I'm saying? If you like what you see, you know what I'm saying? Mess with us. Scroll up, see what you like. He'll have the subjects listed. But yeah, Daryl, cut my check.